Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashur Ranjan and in this learning series we will learn about Abbey Flexi Capture. So let's get started. So before learning Abbey Flexi Capture we must know why we need it. Okay. So we are living in a world where data is everything and these data exist in form of documents. These documents can be structured, semi-structured or unstructured. If we talk about structured documents they follow some sort of standards for example formattings numbering etc and example for these kind of documents are uh, bank forms tax forms okay so they follow some pattern okay if you talk about unstructured document they are free format documents okay for example contracts letters okay so these are the unstructured documents if we mix these two structure and unstructured document there is a semi-structured document as well. Okay, so these documents are uh, invoices, POs, receipts, etc. Okay, so somehow we need to extract the data from these documents and store it to the database or any other ERP systems. Okay, so if this task is manual, then it takes lots of time. Okay, and it also lead to the inaccuracy. Okay. So in such cases, Abby perfectly fit for it. Okay, where data extraction is must along with accuracy. Okay. If we talk about how it work. Okay, so I'm going to this VM. I have one flowchart. Okay, so it has different stages like capture, classify, extract, verify and deliver. It captured data from various sources like uh, mobiles, network path, faxes, email or scanners. Okay, it captures the data from there and then passes to the classification stage where it will classify the document whether it is a purchase order document, receipts or invoices. So once classification is done then it will extract all the necessary information from it and then it will pass to the next stage which is a verification so if some characters are not certain whether it's uh, extracted accurately or not then it will pass uh, that to the verification stage and one verification is done then it will export to the excel file or it can store to the database as well okay so this is how it work okay let's see some demo okay I will close this one. So I'm inside a VM, it's a bit slow. So this is a folder structure. So what I will do, I will place a file inside this input file folder. Then Abby will pick those files and it will create a batch inside this process file folder. So once batch creation is done, it will extract the data and save it to the output file folder. Okay, so I will show you this folder. So these folders, okay, I have click on enter. Okay. So this folder is empty. We have only one folder processing task. I will place a file inside this folder. Okay, we'll go back. inside this process file folder it will create a batch okay and inside batch it will have those files for output files it will create a folder inside this one and then it will have those data Okay, so this folder is empty. Okay, click on this one. And suppose for any unmatched document, it will move those files to this exception file folder. Okay, so I will go back to this input file folder. Okay, I will place some file over here. Okay, I will show this uh, project setup station as well. Okay, so here, here it will create a new entry. 
as a new batch or uh, 2033 I will refresh this one as well okay now I have one image with me okay I will copy this one and place inside this input folder Abby will pick this particular file uh, in less than 20 seconds okay now it has picked it okay. uh, I will open this one okay it will create a new batch over here okay so now you can see it has created a, this batch 2033 and batch type is default and it's containing only one pages total pages is one and current stage is scanning it has different stages like scanning then recognition then verification export process training okay so it will pass through each of these stages so if verification is required then uh, have to open a verification station then verify the document okay so it's having this creation time processing start time as well going to the right side so here you can see it's showing that recognize zero verified zero and export is zero okay let's wait for some time then i will refresh it again and then we'll see the result and okay so this is a document okay so here it has this uh, credit card number then a statement period monthly interest rate credit limit then this address then we have this table so I'm extracting this credit card number then a statement period then this address then entire table okay okay let's go back there and refresh it one more time okay so you can see it stage is process now I will go to this output folder okay first I will go to this process files folder So you can see it has created a batch as a 2033 and it's having a file inside it. Okay, so we have only one file. I will go back to this main folder. okay now I will open this output file folder okay so we have this export folder and inside this one we have that particular batch okay so I will copy this one and copy it to my local machine so I will show you that output I will minimize this one this one and paste it here okay so I will open the result okay so we have this excel file so I have run this one with the uh, default setting okay so that's why it has created this batch folder then it's having these files okay okay so here we have for uh, row index credit card number statement period and address so if we check the result card is ending with 4747 so here we have this result and then the statement period is 12 September 15 to 12 October 15 and then we have this address right 
so it's getting match okay and what about table line item okay for that we have a different excel file inside this folder i will open it this one as well so here we have entire data okay so it's starting with 15 september and ending with 600 okay so if we check the output here so you can see it is starting with 15 September then these uh, columns post date transaction date transaction details and amount and ending with 600 so we have all the data and this is how it works okay so this that's all for this video thank you for watching